Right then everybody, welcome back to Angler Carl. Now just before I get into this video, I do want to say if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you're liking, sharing, commenting, and most of all, subscribing because we're nearly at a thousand subscribers. Thank you all for the support and let's get into this review. So, it's that time of year now guys for pace fishing. Now we'll be reviewing other products by other manufacturers such as Dynamite Baits, uh, I think the cut. I think it's Fajuka. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but yeah, I will be reviewing all them product. But today, this is the chocolate orange uh, one to one paste, guys. Now, as always, I will be putting the price up on screen so you people can decide if that's a good deal or not. I'm not going to go too much into pricing. I'm just basically reviewing this as a product and the performance of it. So you can get this in different flavours. Like I said, the chocolate orange one does smell. It smells quite nice. It smells, um, it does smell a bit fish meal it. And also what they do include is a nice little pot to put on the end if you want to pot some paste in. It is nice that they include this. It does say uh, one cup of paste and one cup of water, 30 minutes equals the perfect mix. Now, there's something I want to say. Before I did this video, the other day, I thought I'd give it a mix. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do and how you people do it, because that's what we're here for, to help each other out. And I mixed it, and, and I did one cup to one cup, and it was very watery. It wasn't, it wasn't brilliant at all, guys. I don't know why that was. I'm not 100% sure. But for me, it was too watery to go around the hook. Now, today... I have mixed it up and it's absolutely perfect. It's solid as a rock, guys. And for me, this will easily go around a hook. As you guys can see, it's nice. And I'm going to try and mould it now around my hook. So I'm going to switch camera angles. But yeah, all I did, I literally put a little, I put two of these in like that and then two water and then I just shook it up. And to be fair, it took straight away, which is kind of strange right then so uh, what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna mold this around my hook and i'm very intrigued to sort of see how this takes i've literally molded that bit of paste around the hook like that i'm sure you guys will tell me if i'm doing it wrong and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drop it in and hopefully that paste shouldn't dissolve i'm hoping now, how long it will stay on is anybody's guess. Has all got it yet? God, that paste is literally still on, guys. So, fair play to Sonya Bates, you know. It's, it's actually doing a really good job of staying of staying on. And, and again, we didn't get the fish. It took the paste, but it didn't get hooked. And for me, that's just, that's where the problem is for me. So, the fish are taking it. It almost feels like it's getting hooked but it's not and that's where for me it gets a little bit i don't know it gets a little bit tedious to sum up the sonya baits paste i know a lot of people are gonna you know disagree with this but i don't like paste fishing personally i th i think it's a little bit finicky i think when i'm wrapping the paste around the hook the fish are getting away with it too much um i would probably use this as sort of like a ground bait replacement. Like say if I didn't have any ground bait on me, I'd make some of this paste, but I'd make it sort of, I'd make it the same consistency as this, where it's like nice and sort of crumbly, but also you can, you can sort of mold it like that. And then I'd literally just chuck like a few bits in over my feeding area. So let's say for example, I'll do one now for you guys. I'd literally get some like that in a little bowl and I'd literally, I'd just chuck it in like that and I'd literally, and I'd just use this personally guys as ground bait. I'd literally just use it as like a ground bait thing. I don't know why it doesn't fill me with confidence on the hook and I don't know if a lot of um, you other people think the same thing. There might be people out there what are brilliant at fishing paste on the hook. Like I said, it's not for me, but it don't mean it's a bad product. 
it does mix well it smells apps it stinks of chocolate orange and sort of like a fish mealy smell so it will definitely bring in that attraction and the fish were getting attracted to it like i said we did have liners and we did have a few bites but they just didn't get hooked and that's my only fear with that now i would personally say as well use a bigger hook i was using a 16 hook but i was molding small bits around it to cater for the size of the hook and they were still getting away like i said you know these they are what they are if you guys want to give anybody in the comments below tips and also give me some tips you know i'm always open to learning uh for me i'm not a big fan of pace fishing but for people that are i'd definitely give this one a try and like i said the chocolate orange scent just mixes it up it gives the fish something different compared to if you're using normal paste and it's on your baits you can't really go wrong with it uh, it's a good product and you get the nice little pot to go with it as well so not a bad deal but just not for me if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave a massive like on it make sure you post your comments down below make sure you share the video and subscribe for new videos every single week and as always safe you're fishing have a good one